Hey fellow Koopas, welcome to a different type of video. What I want to talk about is when to use wall breakers and how many to use. And it's sort of a disjointed thing in my mind. I haven't put this all together, so this might be a little weird. But let's talk about wall breakers. How many to bring and when. So, <clears throat> Town Hall 9 has access to level 5 wall breakers, so does Town Hall 8, and it takes 2 to get through a skull wall, it takes three to get through a Lego or a lava wall. Town Hall 10 has access to max wall breakers and it takes two to get through Lego walls and three to get through uh, lava walls. And so um, a cannon will one shot wall breakers, an archer tower takes two shots, and mortars will one-shot them. Level 6 wizard towers do not one-shot them. Level 7 does. With all that in mind, um, I wanted to show a couple different things and reasons to, to, to bring different amounts of wall breakers. So here, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to break into this compartment in order to get to the town hall and all this. And uh, I've got to break through walls that require two wall breakers, however, there's this cannon that doesn't get engaged with the wall breakers, or excuse me, doesn't engage with the Archer Queen when I want to drop the wall breakers. The Archer Queen is sitting back shooting at this Archer Tower, cannon's not quite in range, and so I drop three wall breakers knowing that one of them is going to die to the cannon shot, the other two will get in there. So, that's a way to ensure that you have enough wall breakers. Oh, the cannon does engage. Oh, and then it stops engaging. And then the archer tower gets a shot off on the first uh, wall breaker there. It takes it down to part life. The cannon shoots it, takes it down all the way. And then the archer tower second shot is wasted. And then the other two get their bomb drops off. And then I come in here and I wait until um, until I can target this section here with two more wall breakers and I look around and I see there's no mortars that are going to hit it. There are no wizard towers that are level 7 that are going to hit them and so once it's safe, um, there's, once that uh, DE storage is down they might not go to this compart this section. So once those are down this expose the first thing that the wall breaker is going to target. I drop one, two, they run right on in there are completely untouched. It only takes two and I'm able to get into the core. So that's neat. That works. However, coming up here, attacking this guy who's got Lego walls. And what I do is I attack, I run the wall breakers through this destroyed defense. You can see they can run through the rubble. There's no problem. There's only one tile between this, de or this destroyed building and the wall, so it's not going to get rid of the wall breakers. The, if there were a small bomb there, it wouldn't kill them in time. So I dropped four, thinking that this cannon might have engaged. You see, it did not. I actually used one more than was necessary, but when I'm just farming, then I bring 14 because I want to be safe that I open it up. I don't want to accidentally not. So in the previous war, I showed a video of me hitting their number 10. Specifically, I showed what I did wrong with the golem on the bottom left side. So, I drop the golem while this wall is still enclosed, and then while the golem is still really close to this wizard tower, I open up that compartment, and it continues walking all the way over. See, golem, uh, let me show that a little bit slower. Anyway, I have the wall breakers down on the field, but they haven't opened the, the compartment when I drop the golem. So, wall breakers go down, compartment's closed, wall breaker goes down, or excuse me, the wall opens, and he runs right past that, continues running all the way through. And so, and I was able to do that because this is a level 6 wizard tower, and I know there's no problem. He's going to break right on or he's going to hit these wall breakers, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if he gets a shot off because nothing else was 
going to hit them, so that works. And then in this current war, I hit number six, and I took advantage of that same uh, functionality, I guess. I put this golem over here to take the shots from this archer tower. I put a wall breaker down to test to see will it be hit by this expo, will it be hit by this archer tower, which was really close. It was which tile is it going to go to. Um, I get the wizard tower distracted. I get this all going in there. The test wall breaker was to make sure there are no bombs. And then from there, I go ahead and I drop three more wall breakers because I brought four thinking that if this expo, if this archer tower are able to hit them, they'll take out the first wall breaker that goes in, but that's just the test to, or rather to clear any small bombs. And then I drop three. If the first one gets taken out, it only takes the two that are behind them to take out skull walls. So it turns out that uh, wall breakers will make it in there and I don't need to drop all that many, even though the expo does lock on the first time, but not the second time. So the expo hit the first that test wall breaker, but didn't hit the second set, which I thought was really interesting. Um, it seems to be right at the edge of its range. So you'll see this first wall breaker I drop in here. It targets this wall, hits, or triggers the expo, and then I run in here, drop three more wall breakers. They target one more over and do not get targeted by that expo. And so that's another thing that I want to talk about. The expo on ground and air has a range of 14 tiles, which means you need to look for nine because it's the middle until the middle. Um, so this expo range, it apparently is able to target this skull wall, but not this skull wall. And so uh, that's right where the edge of the range is. If you see an expo and it's got this uh, one tile here for the wall, three, three, Oh, and then another one right at the edge there, and then another wall. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the ninth is the wall there. So if the expo is nine tiles away, you need to be worried, not worried, you need to be aware that it may hit your wall breakers, even though it looks like it's not quite to that position. Um, the other thing to that, uh, same holds true, this... Archer Tower, I was wondering which which tile will it hit. Obviously, if they attack that wall, it would be able to hit the wall breaker. But if they're one further over, you drop them a little bit behind this barracks, then you're golden. So if that were a max expo, it would have taken out that first wall breaker. It gets it in enough shots that it doesn't doesn't uh, get to to drop the bomb there, which is why I had then brought three was if that are expo takes out the first one then the other two get their shots off um what i wanted to talk about is sort of the the tilt shift on these so the golem and the bk and every other melee troop hogs included has sort of a reach they have a little bit of range i know they're melee troops but uh, there's sometimes the glitch where a BK will hit something over a wall. The defending BK will sit there and it'll smack a golem or smack a P.E.K.K.A. that's then hitting the wall because he has a little bit more range and sometimes the game doesn't quite determine that there's a wall there. Same with this. Uh, sometimes a golem will be just out of range because it reaches a little bit and it hits the wall, whereas the wall breaker has to be right up next to it. And I've had times where I drop a golem there's something that's not shooting at the golem, and then I drop a wall breaker that gets hit, that gets targeted. And in the same vein, Teslas that are three to four tiles away are absolutely... I'm not going to watch that. Actually, yeah, let's see what PP does. Teslas that are three to four tiles away from the wall are absolutely awful. That's not what you want when you're attacking because it is so, so difficult. Ooh, he doesn't have a lot of spells left. Oh, and he didn't get that second air defense. Um, and we're going to show that in just a second here. Get that boon drop off. Ugh, nice try. Not quite. Okay, so in the previous war, Warlog, 
when Jukes came up here and hit their number two. Two things to show. He attacks this wall down here. He has six wall breakers. And once he's got these golems down, uh, you can tell that none of this point defense is going to hit his wall breakers. This is all targeted. However, there's a Tesla that pops up that's three tiles behind. It's just behind these troops here. So I dropped these four wall breakers in. One was unnecessary, but Tesla pops up and a Tesla will one shot wall breakers. And then he's got another two max wall breakers over here. Tesla one shots all of them. But then he's got three wall breakers on this side, two on the other. Gets the bomb drop off. He hits a small bomb with these two wall breakers. They still got the drop off because max wall breakers don't get one shotted. Okay? And so Teslas are a phenomenal defense against against uh, wall breaker openings, especially if you don't want to put a small bomb there. Uh, same with wizard towers. Wizard towers, you want them to be... It's interesting, because a wizard tower, you don't want it to be just barely able to shoot an outside like that. You don't want it to just barely cover the wall, because by the time it turns around, targets, lines up, and shoots, a first wall breaker will get a shot off. So um, here, if you drop uh, two really quickly, then it will miss both of them. If you are sort of slow and you're lackadaisical in your wall breaker drops, doom, doom, then the second one is going to get hit by the splash of it trying to shoot the first wall breaker. And so um, that's the thing to keep in mind. The wizard tower is a little bit better more along this side so that it can start targeting when the wall breaker is still one tile away because it's got to finish the run, it's got to drop the bomb, and then it's got to sort of do its duck and cover before it blows up. The wizard tower will target and get that splash off to kill the wall breaker in that period of time. But it has to be a level 7 wizard tower. And so, uh, yeah, that's a couple things to go into with wall breakers and wall breaker usage. Um, there's more to it, of course, but I hope that video is helpful. And until next time, take care.